Hi, I'm Jan, and this is Levi. Today we're going to talk about how to halt your horse and then lead him. So what we have here is a basic leather halter. I like the leather because if your horse gets in trouble, it breaks easily. Um, this part right here is called the crown. It goes behind your horse's ears. This is the cheek piece, nose band, and we have the throat latch here. There's buckles on here, you'll notice. Um, and this is where you're gonna attach the cross ties, a lead rope, or sometimes people will attach the horse to the upper buckle if they're going in a horse trailer. Um, I'm gonna show you a different type of halter as well, um, one that I do not recommend using. So here we have a nylon halter. Um, it, it's a good brand. I like this brand. Um, I just don't like this halter and it's because of the crown piece. It's made of nylon. Um, if your horse were to get stuck somewhere while wearing this, he wouldn't be able to break away. And in fact, that's the name of the halters. They're breakaway halters um, and they have a leather crown instead. You can always remove this and replace it with a leather piece. Um, safety is always first and foremost when your horse is outside. So I would recommend a leather crown or a full leather halter. I'm ready to put my halter on my horse. Before I do this, I wanna make sure I still have control while his face is naked. I have a lead rope around his neck this way I can hold on to him so he doesn't move away from me. I also have a hand on the front of his face. I'm gonna hold onto the halter by the crown, which is the part that goes behind his ears. I'm going to slip this over his nose, like that, up and around over his ears. You'll notice this halter is quite loose and it's for demonstration purposes only. Then I reach under and I attach the throat latch. You don't want to halter this loose on your horse. Um, if he were to get stuck somewhere, sure it's leather, it'll break away, but it slides right off. He could get tangled in it. Um, and you don't want one that's too tight either. Something like this, your horse has difficulty moving his head around, um, can't really open his mouth. And the throat latch, you want to be able to fit a hand between his cheek and the leather. I'd say about three fingers between the nose band and his nose. So you'll notice the bottom buckle here. This is where I would attach a lead rope. If I were to put them on cross ties, I would attach them to the side buckles here. Um, you don't want to use the top buckles for cross ties or your lead rope. You don't have much control of your horse, at least under here. You have complete control of his um, head and with the cross ties, it'll keep your horse stationary. Now I'm ready to take off the halter. I put a lead rope around my horse's neck, again, so I have control once the halter is off. I undo the throat latch. I grasp the crown behind his ears, pull it over his ears and down. It slides right off. I still have control over my horse because of the lead rope. Now I'm able to put on his bridle or set him out to pasture, whatever I'm about to do with a naked face horse. The position I'm taking is on the near side or left of my horse. Never lead a horse from the far side or his right. I'm not standing in front of him or too far behind his shoulder. Remember, you are leading the way, your horse is not. While standing at his left shoulder, my right hand holds the lead under my horse's chin. The excess lead is held in my left hand. Never loop or wind the lead around your hands. When learning to turn, try leading to the left. It's a natural follow motion for your horse. Keep your horse away from obstacles like bales of hay, gates, doors, or tack trunks so he doesn't get caught or snagged on anything. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more videos, click the subscribe button and click that like button too. It helps quite a bit.